welcome to Turtle Burger Vlogmas Day 22. My name is Brittany. Thank you for joining me yet again. We are almost at the end of Vlogmas and I am so excited to have made it this far because you just never know how things are going to go in life. Anyway, so I got a lot of work done on day 22. I am so, so pleased. So yesterday you saw where I finished the Point Edwards mitts and so I wanted to get back to work um, first off I needed to completely rip out and restart my Marie Schrader sock test for Michaelia breaking yarn I will show you that but the other thing I wanted to get back to was my candy cane socks I don't know if I'm gonna have them done for Christmas but I really really wanted to and I'm on the foot so I am working them in tandem and here is the first one I only did five rounds on each of them I think one two three four five yes so here is the first one with a candy cane sock I'm into my, I just started my foot. I'm only five rounds into my foot. Let's see if you can see the, you can kind of see the little candy canes. That's better, isn't it? See the little candy canes. I only did three repeats instead of four, which is what the pattern calls for. Um, this is, let's go over the details. The candy cane socks by Amanda Clark of Shutter Monkey Designs. The yarn I'm using is bare yarn that I dyed myself. It is Knit Picks Muse. It's a 75 Superwash Merino 25% nylon blend. And I dyed it using um, food coloring and Hawaiian punch. It turned out a little more orangey than I wanted, but I really like this. I do. I can't wait to wear them. I really hope they're going to be done for... Um, Christmas and here's the second one it's in the exact same place there they are um, let's see what else these are a 56 stitch count sock and I am using two nine inch circulars they are US size one 2.25 millimeter I can't wait to wear them I'm also eager to see how high up they go on my leg because that's the part of socks I'm still playing around with. I know exactly when to start my trying them on. I know exactly when to start like my toe decreases and whatnot. So I'm excited to to um, get those finished and see all about them. And they are living in this Christmas bag that was gifted to me. And oh, I didn't even show you the cute little progress keeper. The progress keeper came with the bag too, and it's a cute little Christmas tree. So, and now my Marie Schrader socks. I cannot believe how well these are turning out. So, they are living in this Charlie Brown Christmas bag that was also gifted to me. So, so cute. And, oh, and it has a little penguin button. <laughs> he just makes me smile. <laughs> okay, so um, the details on Marie Schrader. So Marie Schrader is a sock test for McKaylee of Breaking Yarn. And I am using, the yarn I'm using is Monarch Yarn from Etsy. And it is in the color Violet. And it is currently in a preemie hat I did years ago that I am repurposing for a yarn cozy. I am doing Magic Loop US size 1 2.25 millimeter needle. I am making the small size, which is a 60 stitch count. I did a 20 row cuff. And I have done two repeats, which are these little chevrons. So neat, much easier than I was expecting it to be. Um, she does provide a tutorial um, 
in the video or in the video in the pattern um, of her doing it so you know how um, the chevrons are basically made doing right twist and left twist so neat and once you get the hang of it I mean I got a lot done this is what I did yesterday 20 rounds here 20 round cuff plus two repeats which is 12 rounds so it's a six um round repeat so that's 32 and plus a total of 10 on my other two socks is 42 rounds i could have practically had a whole sock foot done <laughs> in 42 rounds so i got a lot done i was very pleased with this and the chevrons here is really funny because I didn't even notice it till I was near the end of it but it is a six repeat leg um so basically you're looking at like 36 rounds on the leg and she says that is to represent that six and one thousand people are kleptomaniacs so apparently I've never seen breaking yarn but apparently Marie Schrader who the sock is named after she is a kleptomaniac and this is also really neat because apparently she wears a very deep purple knitted sweater in the show and it has these chevrons on it so i think that i just cannot even fathom how mckaylee was able to replicate that um but she did and i am really enjoying it i love her patterns that's why anytime she sends a tester email i'm like right on it <laughs> Um, so yeah, that is it. That's all I did yesterday. Um, that's all I plan on working on today with the exception of the down cellar studio, Boston Jen. She, um, in the pigskin party opened up a thread for extra points. Um, if you make snowflake or stars, you know, something like that. And so I thought it would be nice to have a couple of a ace not a couple two total a snowflake and a star on our christmas tree and i asked my husband what he what color he thought because we have a white christmas tree so it would make sense to do them in white and he was like maybe if you have a minty color and i was like yes i have a minty color <laughs> so i'm going to work from the opposite end that the um i do have red heart super saver in the color minty um that I am using for my brioche basic beanie. And so I'm gonna try to work from the opposite end of that and do up a couple of quick, a star and a snowflake, if I can find a pattern, crochet pattern, because those are super quick. Um, so anyway, I may get up to that today, who knows. And that is it. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>